guys, it's Bunny and welcome to today's video. For today, I will be reacting to Family Guys, and this one is Best of Glenn Quack Meyer. It's not the actual first time that I reacted to something like this. It's been probably ages, and I completely forgot a lot of these moments, but this is a brand new video, so let's go and check it out, shall we? What the hell? Oh, the for music. God's sakes, where's that white noise machine? Ah! Help! Oh my God! Help! Somebody help me! <sighs> Bro, and that is good for him? I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Wait, what? I'm glad we waited. Nine months later? <laughs> My father in the hospital. Giraffity. I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. And go have sex with Quagmire. Quagmire. Oh, shucks. You can't blame a guy for trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Giggity, giggity. You see, women are a lot like Saturday Night Live sketches. Lots of them are Wait, awful. What? Some are decent. And a few are pretty good. But then there's that one. That one woman who's as amazingly perfect as massive head wound Harry. Would you mind giving me a lift home, buddy? As what? Give him a lift. Get in. Oh, that's... That is even hey, worse. Hey, Quagmire, you know that stray cat we got in our neighborhood? The pregnant one? Yep, she's having her kittens right now. <gasps> oh, no way. Yep, making all those high-pitched meow, meow noises and everything. I love them already. Yeah, but Brian's been eyeing them pretty good. What? Yeah, and I gotta go to work now, so I hope he's not, like, hungry or nothing. This is your captain speaking. We've discovered a shoe bomb on board. We're gonna have to return to the turn. Should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scar them for life. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen. You're first. Mom. Sixteen. I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. No. This family is what's best for Bro. Emily. <laughs> this is her home now. I gotta let her go. I'm proud of you, Quagmire. Aww. Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was gonna change that much? Get out, everybody! What's going on? <laughs> Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with you. There's some frozen steaks in the freezer. Bathroom's down the hall to the right. Uh, if you ever come home and there's a tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a... Frogging. hours. A couple of hours. You smoke? Hey, you're overreacting, Lois. And you can't spell overreacting without ovary. Because you're a girl. But I'm not no. overreacting. Hey, uh, just an FYI, uh, really no reason to go into any greater detail than this. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. All right. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? <laughs> hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? What a Why would a conversation that? like that? I just sat down. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. Joe, hold your handcuffs an over my lap. What, what the hell is that? Swiss Army penis. Oh my god, what? Well, Quagmire, that's incredible. What? Peter? Well, yours oh. are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. Anyway, you guys got the talent, but what you need is a manager. Someone with no talent who can take a lion's share of your earnings. You do that for us? Sure I oh, would. Wow, so what do you manager. say? Can I be your manager? You betcha. All right, put it there. No, I've seen your prescriptions. Let's just say we're doing it. Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, ah, what the hell? Peter, make it's him a stop. Rodent. Hey, hey, what do you got going on down here, Quagmire? You, you got a you got a rodent situation? Uh, no. Oh, Xerxes seems to think there is. Yeah. Come on, Peter. Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter. Admit it. Oh, you scared him out the front. Tony, come back. Peter, Ew. jury duty is an important cornerstone in our democratic society. Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. What 
the hell? Ew! So, how long you been in beauty school? Two months. Well, tonight we're doing facials. Oh Did you have sex God. with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, anyone? but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Oh, yeah. Boom. You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. <sighs> We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay straight. i tell you one thing. It's all about the beads down there. Oh my god. We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. Since boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field, you should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. But in this universe, Christianity never existed. Which no! means the dark ages of scientific repression never occurred, and thus humanity is a thousand years more advanced. Hey, look, there's Quagmire. Thanks, honey. And Say hi to your husband. The same thing. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. They show what? lonely. They're practicing kissing each so other. So that's advanced. I don't think they're practicing. Oh. 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 Giggity? Giggity! So, you ladies ever been penetrated? Oh my god! Oh, Brian's a complete dick, we all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on, when are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! No! Oh, look, here's a simulation of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Why would you do that? Hi. Oh my god, you actually cannot see anything. You go. Bye! Well, he sex is overrated. You. Stay out of this, Joe. All right, look, forget the party. We got a more important mission Jesus now. Is there. Your 2,000 year long cold streak is about to come to an end. What do you mean? I'm saying, Jesus, we are going to help you lose your virginity. Yeah, oh God, I love We're sex. So happy so, do you about guys it. just not do the anal probe anymore? Is that no? That's more or less been retired. I see. I see. Uh, do, do you still have the thing? Quagmire's the thing? father, decorated war hero Lieutenant mm. Commander Dan Quagmire, is now a woman. You're kidding? No, and I'm not crazy about the name change. What is it like, Danielle or Dana? No, Ida. I had sex with her. What? I had sex with her Ew. at the Marriott. Oh, why? I didn't know. I didn't know it was her. Oh my God! Ah! Ah! Get out of there, you dirty little bastard! You're dead. So mean. Run! Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> See you anywhere near my house, I'll blow your head off! Peter, once entered into, marriage is a sacred bond, an alliance blessed by God and hallowed by the community. That's why I'll never opt for the matrimonial condition. It wouldn't be fair to the historical framework of the institution. But for those who do, and then turn their back on its long-standing convictions, shame! Wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> Got gotcha you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendlies. I lied. You jerk. I didn't feel anything, but you did. Wait, wait, let me repeat this one. Shame. Wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> Got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendlies. I lied. You jerk. What about the pee pee? Did any time occur to him that it's us? I didn't feel anything, but you did. Happy Halloween. <laughs> gotcha. Ha, hepatitis C. Joke's oh, on no. you. I already got it. <gasps> Meningitis. I'm a carrier. Gonorrhea! Patient zero. You're gonna have to do better than that.
Oh, no. I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. I'm attracted to another man. Giggity. Oh, no. It's Meg's boyfriend, Anthony. Giggity. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, Hi, it's not I'm all right. right. All right, let's get this going, sweet cheeks. You got a handkerchief? Uh, yeah. Good. Ball that up and stick it in your mouth. Okay. Now, what else you got there? You got a stapler? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Okay, why don't you go ahead and stick that in your mouth, too? Uh. <coughs> How about a mouse pad? Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead and roll that up and stuff it in there. Did you get a packet why from HR listening? when you started working there? Okay, I'll take that as a yes, and I'm pretty certain you know what I want you to do with it. Okay, you think you can fit anything else into your mouth? All right, so now let's start filling up some other places. Um, Bro. you're going to go low there, Lois. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Lois? Why are you Giggity. sauce? All right, Meg, remember what I taught you. Relax All my right. throat and make eye contact? No, no, the fighting stuff. Happy Wait, birthday. What? Hey. Hey, where's that pinky going, huh? Where's Ooh, he going? No, no. What, what's he do? Get back here. There you go. No. No. Hey, Peter, do you mind? But I have to get dinner. Go out. What the? Ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang. Giggity. Bang bang. Oh, I say oh, that. Bye. Hey, you guys, yeah. you remember those hot homeless That's twins yours. who live under the overpass? Well, last night I got... Wait, 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 Quagmire, let me cover Stewie's ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He literally doesn't even have to listen. Oh my god, what did he do? And this is the hand that caused all the trouble. <laughs> Got your nose, little guy. <laughs> Ew. Told Glenn, time to reel her in. We should hang out. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What? I am gonna... Nah, it's too much, too much. You're doing great. Now roll it. What? No way. <gasps> Don't worry, you're a quagmire. It's in your blood. Grip it and rip it. Okay. Atta girl, perfect. No, 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 we're not doing that. I got my daughter with me today, you perverts. He's not doing it today. Ah, shoot. Another time. Probably got his kid with him. You're still here? Oh, yeah. Man. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly, you're not familiar with how this works. Here, let me help you to the door. <laughs> Jerk, Glenn Quagmire. One of these days, you're gonna get what you deserve. You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Great to meet you all, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you what? all. What? That's not it. Dude, put your pants on. Shut up. Everyone sees oh me God. as a woman. Oh, no. This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a oh, pig no. all the time. From now on... I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys. Hmm. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. Would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up. Don't you talk to Mittens that way. Mittens is a member of this family. Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're gonna have to change your tone. What? Oh, boy. I hope there's a scale in there. I'd like to have a before and after on this one. I'll be out in a minute. I really need to go. She said she'll be out in a minute. You could get a hair Whoa, transplant. Leave her oh, alone. yeah, like one of those guys pretending to get out of the pool? That looks all right. Yeah, come on, Quagmire. Get the hair transplant. What is with his hair? Come back to us. You're right. This isn't me. Baldness is for women's crotches, not men's heads. There you go. That's Bro, pretty what? gross. <laughs> Poor bald guys out there, though. Come on, it suits some guys. It definitely does. The Rock, Vin Diesel. Yep, that's it. That's that's all I can think of. John Cena, kinda. That is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I love your faces. Have a wonderful day and stay awesome. Bye. Ciao.